Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho! This is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about RPGs. Now, I'm pretty excited uh, to have a guest on, but first, I, wanna, I want to highlight, this is our new uh, location here. Uh, this is one of Jeff Brown's masterpieces, and if you're interested, you should totally check out his website. We'll have a link in the show notes. But now, without further ado, let us bring on our special guest. Tonight, we have Stacy Delorfano. How are you, Stacy? I'm great. How are you? Oh, I, you know, I'm super. I went out for lunch today, and there was a fly in my soup. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a little extra protein? I, I know. It was like gift with purchase. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's like finding the, the, the toy at the bottom of the cereal box. Oh, yeah. Total Cracker Jack time. So I, I'm not fooling around. You are far too busy for me to just chit-chat with you. We have to talk about important things. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Last year, you started a zine about Random O City. Now, where's that located? I can't find it on the Googles. It's a, it's in another plane. Google doesn't reach there. There's no data plan. Hmm. Huh. Well, get on that, Googles. So, so what is this Random O City about? It's a, it's a zine that um, it kind of incorporates the way that I like to actually plan for RPGs, which is to really look at to look at things that I necessarily wouldn't think to look at, um, different gaming systems, things like that. So it literally has a random sampling of a bunch of stuff that for gaming, specifically to game with, um, that it, people that we asked to contribute to the magazine, to the zine, actually put in. And it's in color. In color. Very yeah. nice. Now, this is an ongoing thing? Yes. Um, it's been on a hold for well, about the last year-ish or so, but it's um, I'm getting ready to pick it back up again. We have two issues um, currently out. Uh, the first one's horror, and um, what is the second one? The second one is lust. And we have um, the third one, which is resurrection. Um, it's kind of, we, we almost have it done, but we've been sitting on it for a little while because there's been a lot of Contessa things to do. Oh, now let's let's move on to that. You're the head honcho of Contessa, and and that's an online convention. Uh, now, what's going on this year for Contessa? On March 14th, we're having a day that's all panels. A whole day of paneling. That sounds like Home Depot. That's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, could be. Now, now, among all of your other free time in gaming, you're developing a game called Precious Dark. It sounds kind of emo. Is it about vampires or something? What's up with that? <laughs> it is kind of emo, I guess, and sort of in a roundabout way. It's um, it's about uh, a post-apocalyptic Earth and a couple hundred years in the future. When, pardon me, when uh, the the Earth has been destroyed and is inhabitable, uninhabitable rather on the surface at least, so most people live underground and they've um, discovered this sentient uh, renewable power source called the weird. And um, they interact with that so much that the people have mutated and have become their own, well, you know, like frog people. Oh man, this sounds like my kind of ticket. Alright, so you've got a bunch of frog people. <laughs> and then, you know... Weird. This this so, is good. So I kind of liken it to like when a My Little Pony in My Little Pony, when a pony gets their cutie mark, it's about the same time that a human being starts to mutate in Precious Dark, and they become something that's beneficial to who they are on the inside. So the, uh, what about killing stuff and and XP? There's some of that too. But there's, there's at least, you know, I try to make it so there's several different angles to deal with things. The group that I'm running right now, they haven't actually got into combat once yet, but they've done a lot of exploring and looking around. And that's just like a cavern one. So they're exploring some ancient prehistoric caverns, and right now they're, they've been talking to a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex set of bones that um, has been animated by an ooze, just to give you a taste. Wow. That that that's that's pretty weird, and and 
and there's exactly. lots of weird. That's that's crazy. Now right. you've talked about developing this game in public. Now, what do you mean by that? I mean, you just take it out to game stores and hang out, like like a Barnes and Noble. The first, the first time I ran Precious Dark was for the first Contessa, and I did everything for the first Contessa. I did all the scheduling, I, I coded everything that needed to be done, I did all the promotional stuff, I didn't have a staff, so I did it all myself. Which meant that I didn't have time to put together any sort of um, play test packet or give anybody any kind of rules. And what I ended up having to do is spend like the first hour walking people through character generation and explaining the world while I was doing it. So I've been doing that. I, I ran it twice at the first Contessa, and then a third time at the second one. And then I ran in between there. I ran a short-lived campaign with some guys I know. So you know, I've been basically creating the game as we go, and um, kind of doing it on air quite often and um, in public, so that people can kind of see how it's done. Huh. Now, I, I, I checked out, actually, an episode of Precious Dark, and I noticed that you've got uh, pretty much an all-star cast there. Uh, you've got a game designer like Daniel Lewan and an actress, Mandy Moore. That's pretty awesome how you have such a cool group playing the game. Yeah, they're a really cool group of people, they, and, they, and they're very creative, and they're very funny. Yeah, that's neat. You can check out all of that on your YouTube channel. So note, note to uh, everybody, you should check out Precious Dark. It's free right now. Since she displays all the rules on YouTube, you can steal it! Just, you know, hours and hours of watching, but then it's yours. <laughs> now, uh, I'll, uh, all right, now, I've got a serious question for you, Stacy. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Now, Stacy, my serious question is this. Which fast food mascot is the creepiest? Ronald McDonald, Burger King, uh, King the Burger King, or Jack in the Box? Absolutely no contest, Ronald McDonald. He's creeped me out since I was a little kid. Yeah. It's the yeah, clown thing. Although the Burger King, I think he's a close second with the... the he, it is, yeah, with the plastic face. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, and that's, that's a gold and silver right there. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, Stacy, it has been a super fun time having you on the Dr. Tom the Frog Show. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me. You just watched the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, Yes, it's free, so that's not a crime.